Well, now that the draft is over, the next question is, when will Nashville get back to normal? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you're thinking half a million, a herd of half a million just trampled through our city, right? <laughs> News 4's Bethany Reese joins us live. She's on Lower Broadway this morning. Bethany, you're getting a firsthand look of how the cleanup efforts are underway this morning. Yeah, I am. Good morning, guys. When you get, you know, 600,000 people coming to your city, it's going to take a bit to clean up. I do want to talk about the roads real quick and what we're seeing with those opening back up. You can see behind me, they're getting to work this morning on getting these cleared up. This is around 5th and 6th that you're taking a look at right now, which is supposed to partially be back open today. But down here, let me show you on 1st and 2nd Avenue, it could be a completely different story because there is still a lot of breaking down of this state to do and a lot of cleanup left around this area. Now crews tell me it could be as late as May 9th until we see all roads reopened. But day by day, starting now, certain roads will reopen and we'll get back to normal, which is great news. Now NFL representatives are still in town to make sure they leave Nashville better than it was when they got here. Now they are repurposing a lot of materials that were used during this draft, plus they're giving all prepared and unused food and drinks from the draft to Nashville's needy, which is an awesome service project. And hey, they're not stopping there. You heard me mention repurposing. I'll have more details on what they're doing and how they're giving back to Nashville with that, plus how this cleanup process is going during this week. Chris, Holly. Man. Continuing to use those resources. Yeah. Repurposing. How cool is that? All right, thank you. Trying to get everybody settled back in to the norm. <laughs>